Hi, welcome back. I'm Lorenzo and today I'm going to be recreating some vintage Dior looks. I went to the Dior Museum when I was in Paris a while back and it was my favorite place <laughs> that I've ever been. Beautiful, beautiful outfits and specifically I love vintage Dior, 40s, 50s, and some of the 60s. I think that is just a beautiful time of dressing and I just personally feel really comfortable in those kinds of silhouettes. So I wanted to try my hand at recreating a couple of them. I don't own any vintage items, at least not any vintage items from that time period. So I'm going to be using my more modern clothing to try to capture those silhouettes, capture the color combinations, and just the general essence of vintage Dior. So let's go ahead and get to the first outfit. Okay, so for this first look, I think I'm kind of combining a couple different images that I found. The first of which I think this dress matches pretty well, and it's this picture, which I'll show you here. The picture's black, and obviously everything about the picture dress is um, much nicer than this dress. The sleeves are much more voluminous, there's a much more voluminous skirt. The skirt is also, I think, a tulle skirt with a bit of pleat in it. Um, and I don't think that dress is a wrap dress, but the shape is very similar. So I thought that worked. And then I also saw this dress, which this dress is nothing like that, but I just really love the navy color. And that's where I'm kind of getting this navy color from. But I thought to top it off, I would go for this look, which is a navy coat. Um, so it's going to completely cover this, but you know, whatever. I liked the idea of having some kind of like swishy volume underneath the coat. So we're going to try that. Okay. So my coat is obviously different, but it's still Navy. And I feel like if I can kind of turn the collar in a little bit, it's still giving that like high neck coat. Um, obviously mine is, you know, more baggy on me and not as form fitting, but I think it still gives the same feeling. And then I think I'll pair these black boots with this outfit. Can't see what shoes they're wearing, but I think this will go with the vibe. And because this is mostly, I mean, it's probably like a coat dress. There's probably nothing underneath the coat of the model. Um, but that's why I wanted to wear the navy underneath with the dress because I want it to kind of seem pretty seamless. Um, I didn't want anything really showing that wasn't the same color. So the model also has a hat. There's a lot of hats in the inspo that I found for Vintage Dior. Um, and I am not a hat wearer for the most part, only when it's absolutely necessary, <laughs> like for the sun. I think hats are just mostly annoying because they block my vision. So I don't have a hat to wear. So I thought I would just pair some sunglasses instead. There's also a lot of gloves in all the outfits. And again, gloves are not really a modern thing that people use outside of just like cold weather gloves. It'd be fun to bring gloves back, but I don't own any gloves, so I'm gonna be gloveless. But it would be a look to like have gloves on underneath. Very cute, especially like some leather or satin ones. Um, so instead I'm just gonna pair some sunglasses. I put a, just a small pearl earring in because I think that matches. And uh, yeah, this is my look, my version. <laughs> Okay, so this next look I'm excited about. There's a lot of coats also, so I picked quite a few coats because it is fall, so it just seems fitting to style that way. Um, also, the summer looks are very <laughs> embellished and beautiful, and I love them, but I don't have highly embellished clothes, so winter looks seemed a little more doable. Anyway, next outfit um, looks to be like an all black kind of outfit, black turtlenecks and black pants and then kind of a statement short coat. Can't really tell the color of the coat, but I'm assuming it's a light color. So I am going to go with a gray coat that I have. So let me go ahead and get into that outfit. Okay, so I have my base on. I opted for some straight leg black jeans. I don't really have dress pants that are exactly the silhouette and I definitely wanted a cropped pant um, to go with these boots because I imagine that's what they would have worn. They did a lot of black crop pants like that. 
Um, got my cashmere turtleneck on, so let's go ahead and add the coat. Okay, so this is the coat I thought was closest to what they had. It was kind of like an oversized look. It looks like it's double-breasted. I think they have theirs buttoned. And it just had a really heavy, bulky feel. Again, they're wearing a small hat and their hair is really like slicked back. So I just put my hair back in a bun. They're wearing gloves again, which you don't have gloves. Um, I don't have a hat and gloves. Those are the two things that I noticed a lot in Vintage Dior was you wore like a hat and gloves with every outfit. So I'm doing my best. <laughs> I guess I'm doing like a modern interpretation because people don't wear hats and gloves often, especially gloves. Okay, I put in just some really simple hoops feel like that makes the most sense for a vintage jewelry other than pearls. And yeah, this is, I think, as close as I'm going to get. I think this is a really chic outfit. I always, I just always forget to just go with an all-black outfit. I, I don't know. I don't know why I always forget that. But I think it looks really good, especially with this coat, so that we have, like, one kind of statement piece. Um, if you have, like, a really special piece, especially if it's a coat, going for a really simple outfit, I think it makes a lot of sense. So you can kind of just show the coat off. Okay, so this next outfit I'm very excited about. This is one that I saw in the Dior Museum. It's one of the first kind of outfits that they have laid out in the museum and it's gorgeous. Uh, I loved it so much and so I'm really excited to try to make it a look. I think I have pieces that'll make it work enough. I've got a black skirt, got a blazer, and I have my one sun hat so we're gonna wear that. Okay so skirt's a little wrinkly but don't mind that. Um, I think this is not quite the volume or the pleating that the photo has but it's what I got. I hiked it up so it's roughly the right length um, and then this blazer is obviously longer and less, you know, structured and gorgeous and designed, but I think it still has the same basic shape. It's very much like tight in the waist and then flares out at the hips, so I think it's going to work. I don't have quite the dramatic hourglass the model does, so I might add a belt to just help accentuate the waist a little bit more and to pull the blazer in a little more because, again, like, it's not, it's not doing the corseted look as the picture is. Some of the pictures I saw with this outfit, they wore black pumps. I don't have black pumps, so I'm just gonna opt for a nude kind of low heel, and then I'm gonna put on a little straw hat. Okay, so I opted for a tan belt to try to not add too much focus on the waist, but I still wanted it cinched. Um, also, it matches my shoes, so I think that helps a little bit. And then I just have my sun hat, which is definitely not like the hat in the picture. But it's, you know, it's got that straw-ness to it, so uh, it's going to have to work. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be my final look. This hat is not correct. It should be much wider and more structured, less floppy. But I'm working with what I got. Um, I think the rest of my outfit looks pretty good. I've been wanting to try this for a while, ever since I saw the Dior Museum. So, yeah, this is uh, what I got. Okay, so this next outfit is another coat. <laughs> Again, there's tons of coats that I saw. And I just like the idea of wearing a one coat as an outfit. I just think it's pretty chic, and I also love the belt over the coat. I don't have a chocolate brown wool coat or anything like that, but I think a trench coat would work equally as well with this kind of outfit plan. So I'm gonna change the colors a touch and obviously change the materials, and I guess we'll just see See how it turns out. So I put the trench coat on and I feel kind of like an old timey flasher, but um, <laughs> we're gonna move past that. And the picture has black accessories, black belt, black shoes, at least it looks like that. I'm gonna probably do brown because I like the richness of the brown that they're doing. And obviously this is not brown, it's tan. So I'm gonna do brown accents. Okay, I've added some tall brown boots. I like that they go right under the trench and no skin shows for the most part. 
And then I belted the trench with just a normal brown leather belt to kind of match the boots and the buttons in the coat. And I've never worn <laughs> this trench as it's like a dress on its own. Obviously you can wear a dress underneath and have it just be an outerwear, but I love the belt on this. It looks so chic. This trench coat has a belt that came with it, but it's so short and it just looks bad, I think. So I just ditched it. But this like leather belt looks really good. I actually think this is like a really cute outfit and it looks way less like I'm gonna go flash people because I'm secured with a belt. But I think this is really chic and like buttoning it all the way up, having the collar popped, I think looks really cute too. Yeah, I'm actually really into this. It's obviously not the same colors as the picture that I found, but I think I did a pretty good job nailing the silhouette and the just feeling of the outfit. So I'm excited. This one's cute. Okay, so this next outfit I think is gonna be the furthest from what I can actually make it. Um, the inspo is this beautiful like white dress or two-piece, I'm not quite sure if it's the top and the bottom. And then like a little white jacket, it's like this beautiful full set. Um, I don't have a white jacket, so I'm just gonna try to do something inspired by that top with like a sweetheart neckline and then like a skinny skirt. So. We'll see. Okay, so this is what I have. Uh, I thought this was the closest thing I had reminiscent of the top of the outfit. Has a sweetheart neckline, has some drapery, some, a little bit of embellishment going on. So I thought that looked like a close enough match. I don't have a white pencil skirt, but I have this cream one. So I'm pairing white and cream together for this outfit. I'm assuming that this outfit's white, um, but it is a black and white photo. It is very light though, so. I think this matches that. Now, I don't have a jacket that is white or anything like this jacket, but I do have like a little overshirt thing. It's like this gauzy kind of cropped shirt jacket thing. So I'm gonna put it over. I think it might be too much, but I like that it sandwiches the cream. Okay, actually, I think this is like fairly similar to the shape of what she's wearing. Um, this, however, I think is a little distracting, so I think I'm gonna try to tuck it into my shirt. I do also have this bow that was tied in the back, but I think it's kind of disrupted with the jacket now, so I'm gonna move it to the front. Also, there's a bow on the top, so I think this might pull it all together. Okay, um, obviously the bow is in a different place than in the picture, but I think this looks pretty decent, um, better than I was expecting myself to be able to recreate this look. I just put on my nude shoes because I think that makes the most sense with this outfit. I kind of want to keep it light. And then I just put in my pearl earrings, which I think is very cohesive. I don't have a headband like she does, so I'm just going to leave my hair in like this kind of bun look and call this my outfit. I think I did a pretty good job considering I didn't think that this was gonna come together at all. And I don't have the pieces <laughs> that she has. So yeah, I like this a lot. It's very cute. I think it suits my frame and just like my body really well. This is like definitely my style. Like it feels very right. Um, but it doesn't necessarily suit Seattle fall time. There was one more outfit I wanted to try, but I don't know how well it's gonna go, so let's just put it together. Um, looks like it's like this beautiful opened collar, an open kind of like collarbone blazer top with a long black, beautiful voluminous skirt. Um, just looks really chic. I have a black blazer and I have a black dress that has some volume to it, so I think I might be able to pull something together. Again, don't have a hat, so don't even think about it. It's not gonna be an outfit. Okay, I'm gonna get into that. Okay, so I tried to finagle this blazer into like an open blazer. Um, everything I did looked bad, so I don't think we're getting that open neck blazer look, 
but I'll go ahead and just finish this off just as a blazer and then just work with it like it is. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> as good as we're gonna get. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and belt it similar to the other blazer in skirt look because I think that helps give it the silhouette that it has. And okay, I didn't want to add boots again because I've worn them like in two other outfits. So I have my black socks with some sandals, black sandals. I think it looks kind of fun. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna add some gold jewelry. Got some gold earrings on. I don't really want to add too much jewelry because I think it's this very simple look and I want to keep it simple. So this is, uh, this is what I got. I wish I could have figured out a way to do that wide open blazer because I think it's really beautiful. Um, I just think this blazer doesn't work for that. It also has shoulder pads. So I think that kind of messed with it a little bit too. Didn't allow for this like, the right structure and movement but i still think this is cute even though it doesn't have the open love a blazer and i've been loving wearing skirts and dresses a lot more it just is so comfortable i feel like seattle has a much more just generally masculine and outdoorsy style so i've really conformed to that wearing pants and stuff a lot but getting to experiment with some vintage dior which is like highly feminine is so fun and reminds me that I love skirts and dresses and I should just wear them more. Especially if I can pair them with a blazer, it just makes it a lot easier for me to go to like work or something with them because a lot of my skirts and dresses, specifically dresses, <laughs> are like thin strapped or like deep V's and stuff that I wouldn't normally wear to work but with a blazer it's totally fine. So yeah, this is the last look. Okay, those are all the outfits I had today. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you had a favorite outfit or I guess just in general how you think I did. Again, I don't have vintage clothing so I couldn't like replicate these. It was more like outfits inspired by. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want me to do this kind of video on another designer, let me know. Um, I might just do it because I want to anyway. I love YSL, especially vintage YSL. Um, and there's just like so many beautiful fashion brands and I think it's really fun to get some inspo from some of the vintage ones because sometimes you just don't vibe with the modern, you know, of your day silhouettes and that's totally fine and you can dress however you want now. There's no rules. So I had a lot of fun making this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I make videos every week about fashion, style, thrifting, all that good stuff. So if you're into that, try sticking around. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you next week with another video. Cheers!